Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Stefan's Kitchen. I am Stefan and today let's cook barbecue chicken alfredo pizza. Now the name is fairly long but the recipe shouldn't be too bad and it's fairly easy. I started off by chopping up two onions. If you don't like onions at all then don't have any or if you don't like as much just use one. I just chopped them up very fine and the next thing I do is I'll chop up some fresh mushrooms to go on top of the pizza as well. Now remember, you can put anything you want on this pizza. I mean, this is, you know, your basic type of pizza, but not many people usually go with Alfredo. Recently, we've been using flatbread, buying flatbread pizza dough that's already pre-made at the stores or whatever, and uh, that works fairly fine. And as you've seen right there, that was the barbecue chicken. So the next thing we're going to do is take all that chicken and pull it apart. Now, um, there were four breasts in that pan, but I actually only take two breasts and uh, pull them apart for this pizza because um, for the size of the pizza that it is, I mean, you'll get a fairly decent sized pizza, and not only that, but two chicken breasts is more than enough for, especially for two people, and especially for the size of that pizza. Four breasts, and you're looking at a lot of chicken meat on there. Now, I mean, if you do like a lot of chicken, then by all means, go ahead. But two breasts are more than enough for one pizza, especially with the size of those flatbreads. Um, you can also get uh, flatbreads in round sizes, not only square, so in case you'd rather have a round pizza, well, that can happen too. So next, what I usually like to use is a bottle of Alfredo sauce, and we happen to get the roasted garlic Alfredo flavor, so just put a couple spoonfuls on top of your crust, and usually I don't pre-bake this. If you want to, you can. It'll be a little bit crispier, but usually you don't really have to. But once you have the, uh, the Alfredo spread on, the Alfredo sauce spread on, you just add on your chicken. Now, I could have made my own Alfredo sauce as well, but I decided that it's not really something that uh, I'd bother doing just for a quick pizza like this. Uh, if you do have any in, you know, already pre-made or in your fridge, by all means, use it. Uh, also, remember to preheat your oven to 350. That's so that the, uh, the pizza itself can cook. Like, the little bit of dough can get crispy, and the toppings can cook a little bit more on top. And uh, also, we'll t turn it to broil later to make the cheese cook faster. And as you've seen there, that was parsley and oregano, so I'll take a little bit of each and I'll sprinkle it right on top of the toppings, right below the cheese. Uh, that way you kind of get to taste the, the flavors of the, the herbs before you get into the toppings, like the, the chicken and stuff. And it just, I don't know, for me it tastes really nice, so. Uh, so once you get your cheese on, that's pretty much it. You can just put it right into the oven, and like I said, let it bake for about 20 minutes. Then turn it on broil and let your cheese cook on the top. And that should be it. You should be done. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like the video, please favorite and share it with others, either through Facebook, Twitter, or however, you know, whatever means you'd like to use. And uh, by all means, leave any comments or suggestions below. Uh, and if you have anything that you'd like for me to make, again, leave that in the comments as well. So as always, thank you all for watching. I am Stefan for Stefan's Kitchen, and I will see you guys soon.